Hi everybody, my name is Barbara Lester and I'm a licensed clinical social worker and I specialize in working with families affected by autism spectrum issues. And in this video I'm going to talk directly to teenagers who have been recently diagnosed as being on the autism spectrum. This would mean that you've been given a new diagnosis and it could either be that of autism, Asperger's syndrome, what's called PDD-NOS, which stands for Pervasive Developmental Disorder Not Otherwise Specified. Uh, but any one of those terms means that something new has been, you know, figured out about you. But the thing that's interesting to know is that it doesn't mean that it's a new development, this thing about you that's different. It's always been there. It's just now that it's been given a name. And it means that some of the problem areas that you've been struggling with are things that other people struggle with as well. And it, so it has this name of an autism spectrum disorder. And it indicates that some of those areas that are problems for you are things that you share with other people. And it also means that some of the strengths that you have are things that you might share with other people. So some of the problem areas that people struggle with if they have an autism spectrum disorder might be things like a history of being bullied, not being well understood by other people, uh, having difficulties with making or keeping friends, having troubles with certain kinds of school assignments such as writing reports or keeping your work organized, understanding the main point of something. Uh, and so as Tony Atwood said, who's an Australian psychologist who specializes in Asperger's syndrome, a diagnosis is a label that is a, an assigned post that points people in the right direction. So it means that other people, such as teachers and parents, uh, might now know how to help you with any of those problem areas in a way that they maybe didn't fully understand before. Uh, it also means that there's some strengths that you have in common with some other people. And so some of the more common autism spectrum strengths are things like having a great grasp of facts and figures and details, knowing how things work and fit together, uh, being a good visual learner, uh, not getting worried sometimes about getting caught up in the latest fashions or fads, uh, and being a good logical thinker. People on the autism spectrum are often very honest and reliable. And so there's these certain types of neurologically based strengths and some problem areas. Uh, and by neurologically based, we mean that these are things that are based in how someone's brain works and how their nervous system works. And so there's these, you know, unique set of strengths and weaknesses, but not everyone shares the same weaknesses, not everyone shares the same strengths. They are just some of the more common things that occur. And, you know, just keep in mind that this is not something new about you. As I said before, it's this piece that someone has just figured out that you share some of those strengths and weaknesses. And because if it's being figured out when you're a teenager, it means that probably those differences are somewhat mild. I also encourage you to watch another video that I did today on acceptance versus change because it helps address some of those questions about whether autism spectrum issues are uh, something that we think of really as a real problem or is it just part of the normal range of human differences. Uh, so I want to wish you well uh, in this journey. There's a lot of other good things on YouTube that you might find interesting to watch um, from other people who have Asperger's syndrome or autism and their perspective on it and uh, their acceptance of themselves as being on the autism spectrum. So look at some of my lists of things that I've um, put as favorites on my channel or that I've liked and that might give you some interesting things to watch. Uh, if you're interested in hearing more from me on autism spectrum issues, subscribe to my channel which is ASD Specialist on YouTube. Uh, and also leave me a comment on this question or on this issue and I'd be happy to respond in the future about those things. So thanks for stopping by today.